In this chapter, we will discuss the role of land use forecasting in urban sim in regional planning. We will also discuss the urban sim community and the open source tools that urban sim is based on. Today, more than half the world's population now lives in urban areas. And computer-based land use models such as urban sim uh, can be used to forecast the future of cities and to construct uh, what-if scenarios to help inform policy. Uh, tools are needed for modeling long-term changes in the spatial distribution of demographic and economic activity over time, uh, and, and also to look at the associated changes in travel patterns. Urban systems are very difficult to uh, predict. They're very complex and, and they're dynamic and they consistently change over time. Uh, they're hard to predict, uh, especially when we're trying to deal with hard to anticipate uh, technological and cultural changes. Um, but urban sim and, and models like it uh, help give us an analytic tool that, that we can use to um, come to a, a quantitative common ground uh, to start policy discussions. Now, with the Urban Sim Cloud platform, we hope to bring the urban sim methodology to a, a broader array of planners worldwide. Regional planning agencies in the United States and internationally uh, use models for forecasting and policy analysis. For example, in the United States, uh, metropolitan planning organizations, also known as MPOs, uh, often use model-based forecasts of land use and travel to inform their long-range regional transportation plans. And a model can be used uh, to analyze different scenarios to evaluate different outcomes uh, using, using different assumptions and policy proposals. And models give uh, policymakers an important analytical tool uh, to, to help them make more informed uh, choices. And the, the two most common model types in use by regional planning agencies are the land use model and the travel model. And these are quantitative representations of urban systems, with the, with the former being focused on uh, socioeconomic and, and built space, uh, and the, the latter focused on just travel patterns. And it, these models are implemented inside of software uh, and apply statistical methodologies. Urban Sim is a land use model that simulates the interactions uh, between many different decision-making agents uh, in the urban marketplace for land, housing, and non-residential space. Uh, these agents typically will, will include uh, households, businesses, and developers. The system tries to represent the behavior of these agents as realistically as possible. Uh, and you can see the relationship between these agents uh, within this figure here to the left. Behavioral realism and a strong theoretical basis in urban economics are, are, are some of the key components uh, of what Urban Sim is built on. And urban sim uh, can be considered to be far from a black box, uh, as it's, it's, it's really based on a consistent, uh, clear, data-driven, and behavioral methodology. Urban sim is an open source land use model that has, has been developed over the past two decades by Professor Paul Waddell, currently at the City and Regional Planning Department at the University of California, Berkeley. The model is currently used by a number of metropolitan planning agencies in the United States to generate small area land use forecasts that account for the interrelationships between transportation and land use. The logic of Urban Sim uh, is, is open source, meaning that uh, anyone can view the core simulation code and inspect it. The code itself is stored in the Urban Data Science Toolkit, which is a repository uh, for, for tools that can be used for urban analysis. Uh, and you can go online and you can actually see our toolkit that uh, Urban Sim actually utilizes. And a lot of these, um, these tools are implemented in the uh, Python programming language. And we use a number of different libraries from uh, not only the Urban Data Science Toolkit, but also the, the broader scientific Python ecosystem uh, to actually um, make Urban Sim run. And so a, a couple examples here are um, Orca, which is the simulation framework engine, Pandana, which is used to create network-based accessibility variables uh, for use in the model, and Synthpop, which is used to synthesize disaggregate households and persons. Within the United States, uh, users of Urban Sim are primarily regional transportation planners, and they typically use the model for long-range uh, urban forecasting and scenario analysis. Successful operational forecasts have been completed with Urban Sim uh, both domestically and abroad. With the Urban Sim Cloud platform, we have automated the Urban Sim model development pipeline in order to make methodology much more widely accessible. In the next chapter, we will discuss on a conceptual level the methodology behind the Urban Sim model. Mm -hmm.